Okay. I'm going to continue with some pointers, things to remind you of, things you need to know. Uh, you got a river. So you know there are sharks in it and stuff. Okay. And the river's pretty straight along here, and you want to build fence here. It's going to be a rectangular fence, and this side's going to be parallel to the river. And you've got, um, let's say, 1,500 feet of fence. Okay? The question is, how are you going to divide it up? You could uh, do something like this. You could make it square. You could make it long and narrow this way. How are you going to divide it up to get the maximum possible area? Okay, well, it's been the last day. I'm not going to drag it out of you. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to say, okay, we're going to let this side be X. Okay? Now, if this side is X, then what's this side? Well, what's this side? Well, this side is also going to be X, right? Since this is rectangular. So what's this side? Y. Sorry? Y. Now, in terms of X, we could call that side Y, we could call the area A, but we wouldn't get any information about how to make <laughs> this as you know, how, how to fence in the maximum possible area. A minus X divided by 2? No, but you're on the right track. A divided by how two much fence two. do you have? How much have you used on those two sides? X times well, 2X. 2X. You got two sides of X. So what do you got left here? 1,500 feet minus 2x? Yeah, so it's got to be 1,500 minus x. Okay, I don't have time to, I don't, don't want to take the time to write that down. Okay, but that should be clear. If this side is x, this side is also x, and you've only got 1,500 feet of fence, this is going to be the rest of it, right? 1,500 minus x. So what's the area? It's a rectangle. The area is length times width. <coughs> equals x times 1500 minus x, which equals negative x squared plus 1500. So for graph area, versus x, what kind of graphs are going to be? What kind of function is negative x squared plus 1,500? You should, yeah, you should instantly recognize a quadratic or an exponential or a power function, okay? You really need to know what those are, or a polynomial or a rational function, or an exponential or a logarithmic function, that, that's it. you got to know what kind of function is what, so you know what to do with it. Okay, so how do you graph a quadratic function? That's negative x squared plus 1500x, and I didn't pull it out right. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you. Vertex is at x equals 750, which can't be. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> so, like the one said, should have been uh, 1500 minus x divided by 2. Well, it's ax squared plus bx plus c, right? 
negative B over 2A. That's your axis of symmetry, right? There's something seriously wrong with this. I got up way too early this morning. That might be it, but that's... Ah, it's 1,500 minus 2X. I didn't write that down carefully. Okay? So it's negative 2X squared, so that's over 4. So that's over 375. Being very careless today, sorry. Okay, obviously if I multiply, it's not 1,500 minus X. He told me it's 1,500 minus 2X. I knew it was 1,500 minus 2X. Still, I wrote down 1,500 minus X. So keep an eye on me today. Okay, so anyhow, there's your vertex, right? So, Now I'm going back to this expression because that's going to be easier to calculate than like squaring 700 or 375 actually. Not all that much easier. Well, you can figure that out. So now we know that we have a parabola. The x is a symmetry 375. If x is 0, the area is 0. If x is 750, because 1500 minus 2x is 0, if x is 750, and this is all part of how you analyze quadratic functions, which y'all are fairly good at at the midterm. I assume you can do it. So you're going to have a graph that looks like this. In the coordinates of the vertex, it's going to be at 375, question mark, and you can work out the question mark because it's this expression, right? I'm not going to attempt to do that in my head. I'd have to round it off some, and I'd probably mess it up.